Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you in this video how to use ReadWorks. Now we've used ReadWorks in class before, but this is a great refresher on how to use all the features and tools inside of it. Um, also, if you've never used it and you're in my class, this is a, just a great how to. Okay, here we go. So you're going to go to um, the link that I've attached to our Schoology course and says ReadWorks, click here, and it's going to open up to a page like this. Okay, um, now right here which says, where it says enter class code in the Schoology page, there is a code right here. Okay, it is different. So this is for Ms. Klingsick's class and then there's one for Ms. Wallace's homeroom class. So you're just going to copy that. Okay, and you're going to come type it in right here. Okay, you can also just type it in. And then you're going to push continue. And from here, you're going to choose your name. Okay, so whatever your name is, just choose that name. Okay. Okay, once you have selected your name, um, it's going to ask for a password. Your password is going to be your 1000 number. So the number you use for Schoology and for everything else that we've been using, you're going to type that right here. Okay, I have a 1000 number I'm going to use. And then you're going to push continue. Okay. If your login does not work, um, just send me a message on Schoology and I will uh, figure out or reset your password so that it does work with your 1000 number. Okay, so once you're logged in, um, this is what's going to show. It's either going to say Klingsick 1920 or Wallace 1920, depending on um, which class you're in. So the assignments that I assign are going to be down here. So it'll say assignments to do and then submitted assignments are right here. Okay, so you're just going to click on the assignment. And you're going to have three tabs up here. So the first one is the passage. The next one is vocabulary. And the third one is questions. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to read the passage. Now, you can either read it on your own or you can listen to the audio. To listen, you push this play button. And it will read out loud to you. Now, just like I've taught you in class, when a teacher is reading out loud to you, you need to be following along. So you can push play, but don't start going to another website or looking around the room. Your eyes, as it's reading loud, should be following along with the words. So if it's reading out loud, there was once a family. I'm going to be following along with my eyes on that sentence all the way to the bottom. Okay? So after you've read the passage, then you're going to click on vocabulary. Um, these are just some words that they have in the passage that they want you to make sure you know what they are. So the first one is challenge. And then it gives you the definition. And that way you know what that word means. Then you're going to click on questions. These are the questions in uh, for the passage. Okay. Now, if you need these read out loud, if you click up here, you're going to click this sound button. And now all of the questions will be read out loud to you. So I click the sound button, it is blue. So if I click over here. The theme of the passage is that it's best to. Okay, and it will read the question out loud and then I can have the answer choices read out loud harder. just by clicking on those little sound buttons. So when you have an answer, I don't know if that's the answer, but you choose it, you go to question two, three, four, and then down here, this is a written one. So you would have to type in your answer. When you have answered all of the questions, you will click submit. Okay, that will send the, your answers to me, and then you'll uh, I'll grade it and I'll send back your response or your score. Okay, now let me show you some tools that are in here. This button, so we already talked about this button. This button is the audio for the questions. This button right here, this is where it looks like a little book. This will allow you to look at the questions and the passage as the at the same time. So this is super important for whenever you're answering a question and you need to go back. You can go to the questions and just go back to the passage. Or you can kick, click this blue book and look at them at the same time. All right. Another fun button up here, if I, I'm going to get out of here, is this one right here, this ABC with the lines. This is a tracer. So if you're reading and it's easier for you to read with a tracer, you can highlight that and it will follow the lines you're reading. This is also great for if you're listening. You can use the listening tool or the audio tool and this at the same time. Just to get out of it, you click it again. This right here 
will number the paragraphs. Again, just another helpful tool for you to use um, when you're reading. And then finally, this button will make the print bigger. So if it's too big or too small, you can click that and it will change it. So here's original, big, bigger. And so to change it, you just click it. And those are some tools that you can use. Um, again, you can use some of those in the vocabulary. So this is to make the font bigger. This is to listen to the vocabulary. And then this is to see the vocabulary with the questions. Okay. So that is a quick rundown of ReadWorks. Okay. So just to kind of go over, when you log in, you're going to need that code that I posted on Schoology. You'll then log in with your, your password, which is your 1000 number. From there, you'll be taken to your assignments. You click on the assignment, read the passage, read the vocabulary, and then answer the questions, making sure that when you are finished, you click this submit button. And we also went over some tools such as the audio, looking at the text and the questions, making it bigger, paragraph numbers, and the tracer. Okay. All right. Well, if you have any questions, please just reach out to me on Schoology or um, have your parents email me. And I hope you guys are excited to use this awesome tool. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.